CHIRC was founded in 1987 and since that time has developed into a world-leading research centre focused on children and adolescents' health and well-being. The centre provided the first PhD training and taught MSc programme in paediatric exercise science in the UK. Our impact on children's health and well-being was recognised in 1998 with the award of a Queen's Anniversary Prize presented by Her Majesty the Queen for Excellence in Research the first to be awarded in sport and exercise sciences. Currently staff and students are committed to embracing new technologies and innovative research and teaching programmes in paediatric exercise science and medicine and to enhance our understanding of the exercising child and adolescent and contributing to their current and future health. One of our key research interests is to understand how physical activity and fitness are related to the health and well-being of children and adolescents and specific populations such as children with cystic fibrosis, congenital heart disease and type 1 diabetes. We have undertaken work to examine how aerobic fitness can be quantified and interpreted in children. This is typically done using gas analysis to measure oxygen consumption whilst the child is exercising on a bike or treadmill. We make use of wearable technologies such as accelerometers to determine how much physical activity children are undertaking and how much time they spend sedentary. An area of great interest is cardiovascular health. This is traditionally measured using established risk factors such as body size and composition, blood biomarkers and blood pressure. However, we also use non-invasive methods such as ultrasound to directly measure the health status of the cardiovascular system. This can be done in peripheral blood vessels such as using the technique of flow-mediated dilation on the arm or at the cerebral level using transcranial Doppler. These techniques afford us novel insights into the cardiovascular health benefits of fitness and physical activity in children and adolescents. Another area of our research focuses on the effects of physical activity, nutrition and body composition on bone health in young athletes and during growth and maturation. We have conducted randomized controlled trial studies and worked with population-based studies to understand the acute and chronic effects of physical activity and sport participation on bone metabolism, bone density and bone stiffness in healthy and clinical population groups. We have used different imaging techniques, including the Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry, or DEXA, which is considered the golden standard method to assess bone mass, lean mass and fat mass. DEXA allows us to assess bone health in children and adolescents engaged in different loading sports and explore the role of physical activity and nutrition on bone health during growth. My research explores the interface between nutrition and chronic conditions such as cancer and cystic fibrosis and this is in children, teenagers and young adults. I'm interested in the role of nutrition in the prevention, diagnosis and treatment when living with and beyond chronic conditions to improve care and patient's outcome and ultimately to promote optimal growth and development. I'm interested in different aspects of vitamin D. This includes observational studies using questionnaires to investigate people's knowledge and attitudes and how this influences vitamin status. The intervention studies investigate the effects of vitamin D supplementation on vitamin D status as well as numerous musculoskeletal outcomes and also immune health outcomes. My area of interest focuses on vascular health. We know that the origins of cardiovascular disease are in youth and exposure to lifestyle risk factors can influence vascular function in an early age. My specific area of research focuses on diet such as fat, sugars, vitamin C, exercise, physical activity, sleep and head impacts on vascular function.